If you talk about a fighter who has fallen from grace recently, if you talk about a man who desperately needs a victory, then it's going to be the Hellboy Joachim Hansen. Currently on a three-fight losing streak, the worst of his career. The former Shudo welterweight champion, the former Dream Lightweight champion, but with his recent losses, that illustrious history seems so, so far removed. He's beaten the likes of Shinya Aoki, Eve Edwards, Carl Uno, Imanari, Jay-Z, Gomi, Ruman Asato, a huge list of scalps. But he so needs his victory against the human octopus Tokoro here tonight. Spent two weeks training in the UK at Tsunami Gym for this fight. Made his final preparations at the Maha Dojo in Ibaraki. Partially so he could fight the effects of jet lag. We hope it's paid off for the Hellboy here, who brings in a record of 19, 10 and 1. He's been submitted four times in his 10 losses.
赤コーナー百七十センチ六十三キロ。トクロヒデヨ。ヒデヨ。We are set. Hansen versus Tokoro. Both men needing a victory. Hansen has power, has those beautiful knees, and Tokoro can sub you from any position. If he gets the back of Joachim Hansen, he can choke you deeper than Linda Lovelace. Michael Chevello, Frank Trigg, and the hands later. Hans Thompson with you. Dream 16. <laughs> Wherever you're watching live, we hope you're enjoying all the action. Wait. Linda Lovelace, what are you like, 45? I mean, who heck remembers her? She's what got you through puberty, Frank. Left hand there from Tsokoro and then shot to the junk. You seem to no shirt on. I haven't hit puberty yet. <laughs> so an early groin strike in this contest. Okay, Frank, technically, tactically, what does Joachim Hansen need to rely on here to defeat Tsokoro? You gotta remember the last time he fought, he got not, he got KO'd. The time before that, he got beat. You know, because at this, the new weight, so Hanson's got to be careful. He's got he he now has a weaker chin because he's kind of lowered his level a little bit. In weight class, ooh, that's a tough shot. Jeez. That was like an Australian rules football kick. And speaking of which, I know we've got Aussie fans watching. Their AFL Grand Final ended in a draw, which means they will repeat the Grand Final next weekend for the first time in about hmm, 20 years or so. <laughs> But you know, Hanson's got to move. He's got to keep his hands up. He can't be. He can't be that guy stationary. And one of the things that what happens when you go to a lighter weight class, you would think that you'd be bigger, faster, stronger. But the problem is, you have to lose so much weight, so much size, you lose that liquid barrier in your brain that can also cause you to get knocked out quicker. So you have to be careful. And I think that's what kind of happened to Yakim when he first came down. Keep his hands up. Keep his chin down. Keep moving. Takaro has got to do what he does best. You know, stay in front of the guy, swing for the fences, and really, really push. Try to push the pace. His style, not your team style. It's going to be kind of a battle of wills at this point. So Tokoro's sack of marbles are back in place. We're underway again here. Beautiful round kick off the back leg from Hideo Tokoro. Circles off counterclockwise. He does not want to remain a stagnant target. He cannot afford to stand still against Hansen because mm. he... Oh, no. Oh, my. I felt that yeah. one. My testicles Jeez. hurt after that. That was hard shot. Hold on. You have your testicles? I thought Irene had them at home. Oh. Franco Trigo. <laughs> oh, low blows. Hey, man. I was that's, getting that's a 10% purse deduction for you, Frank. I was getting rear naked choked two fights ago, so let's 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 call even at this point. Okay, and uh, Hans Leiter has grabbed the Hitachi Magic Wand again. What is it, Hans Leiter? <laughs> well, come on. You've got it in your hand now. Speak, son. <laughs> Sit there chuckling. <laughs> All right, chuckle away. Speak into it. Go ahead. Well, I have television it. hands later. Come on. While waiting on you. Do, do, I do believe with a shot that hard though on Tokoro, the doctors are going to be forced to dun, 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 go inside. Oh, he's going to give him the bomb massage. Yep. Oh. It's coming. Literally. You know what? Sometimes I sit here, I wish they'd come over and stomp on me so I can get him to do a massage. <laughs> it could be arranged. Why not? We can help out with that. <laughs> The massage of the stomping. <laughs> you're Aussie. I'm not really sure which way you're going. The thing that gets me about Tokoro, as you see there, why would a man with hair, beautiful luster, full head of hair, choose to dye his hair grey? Yeah, I'm not... Why would you do that? In God's name, dye your hair grey. Makes no sense. Is he, is he Hands, you're annoying me now. Speak, damn it. Speak. I just like the magic wand. <laughs> uh, no, I wanted, wanted to, to talk about a, kind of an interesting Japanese euphemism that they use for the, uh, for the, the nut shots here. They use the term kyusho, and kyusho just means your weak spot. So they say it hit him in his weak spot when they get hit in the balls. Kyusho? Kyusho. That's not my weak spot. So what do you do then? <laughs> okay, the doctors haven't gone in. Tokoro is nodding. I'm okay. You don't have to fondle the grundle. International ref, use your Shimada right there in the back corner. Now, Kim Hansen, who has had 10% of his purse deducted. Once again, Hans Leiter, how does that ruling work exactly? He gets 10% for the first yellow card, two yellow cards, another 10% if he gets red carded? The red cards, you can get... Uh, you can get three of them, I want to say, and then, uh, and then, and then you're disqualify. Broke. You get paid nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you're paying FEG. <laughs> That's what they're striving for. <laughs> Isn't that every promotion's dream is to get the fighter to pay them to fight? There's been a lot of speculation in the past about the uh, about how many uh, 
foreign fighters end up getting the yellow cards, and that that, that was just kind of an unofficial tax on uh, on foreign fighters with the with the yellow cards. For a while, when uh, Rampage Jackson was fighting over here, he was in a he was in a battle of a fight, and the, both guys got got yellow card, and I couldn't figure what the heck just happened. And then that's when I first heard the rumor that both were foreigners. So I was like, I don't, I don't know if that's really true, but it sounds great. It seemed to happen a lot, you know. You know. And like Joe Rogan, I'm a conspiracy guy, so I'm like, I'm all about that conspiracy. <laughs> the Anunnaki are coming. We are ready to get it on again here in the first round, where we haven't really gotten much rhythm happening so far because Yakim Hansen has landed two illegal groin strikes to Tokoro. He's okay now. Tokoro comes flying out. Oh, the head kick! Trying to loop the shit around the back of the neck, and there's a stunning right hand. Tokoro has been angered. He don't strike the balls twice on Hideo Tokoro. Jumping knee from Joachim Hansen. And we got a fight on our hands now, Frank. Yeah, we sure do. And the thing is, though, is that you can see the, mo the motion, the movement. Hansen's feet are very flat. He's on his heels. He's on his toes at the same time. He has no movement. But then you look at Tokoro, and he's really moving around. Oh, Milton! right in the mouth. Look at the ground and power from Joachim Hansen. Tokoro's going to give his back. Too close to the ropes, though, for Hansen to capitalize. Tokoro tries to put him back inside his guard. He's got one butterfly off the left leg at the moment. Wow. Great tide changer, because I was saying that, you know, the motion, the movement, you know, Hansen just comes forward, and Takaro was really moving side to side. He's really going to give Hansen some fits. Now he's underneath him. The whole fight has changed. Inside the half guard, top position, Joachim Hansen, the Norwegian, pushes him off. Up kick there from Takaro. Looking at the pass is Hansen. Takaro is dangerous with those up kicks. Hansen oh. tried to power through, offers his leg. Has to be careful, Tokoro can submit him from here. Hansen turned the wrong way too, his leg is in a bad position, but he can't go the other way because the ropes are in, his are in his way. Get that leg behind his head. Hansen drilling in with the left hand, curling in the knuckles, doing some damage. He's gonna knock that gray right out of his hair. Oh, top side triangle. He's Hansen. got it. He's into Hansen. it. Hansen, triangle, Tokoro in trouble. Can Hansen finish him? He needs to stay on top, pull up his head with one hand and start punching down with the other. He's got an armbar too if he wants to take it. He's locking down those arms. Tokoro does not want to give that left oh. arm. Can Hansen find the finish? The triangle here from the Hellboy. Oh, Tokoro slammed him down, but he's still caught in the triangle. Okay, he's in a bad position, so Hansen is straight. He's off him, he's in a straight line. He can't finish this off. He's gotta get his head over to the left. He's gotta get his head all the way over to his left. Get a 90 degree angle, be able to finish this off. Takaro's got space underneath here. See how he's still moving? It's because they're in a straight line here. He's gotta slide his head over to really put this down. Oh, it's good night, Irene! It's good night, Irene! Eureka, he found it! Joachim Hansen finally back in the winner's circle! Did you think Freddy that Tokoro was going to hang in there for a bit longer? I did. I thought Tokoro had a good position because they were in that straight line. He's, he's got space to be able to fight. Even though the hands are squeezing tight with his legs and pulling your head down, there's still a little space. You can get your chin in the right spot to get some breath. Once the guy gets up to 90 degree angle, he's totally pinned off. He has nowhere to go. Hans did a good job. Of course, his weight is really strong. He's got a lot of power. He's able to hold him down. Two minutes and 48 of the opening round. Joachim Hansen taps out Hideo Tokoro. Hansen just putting the triangle, stitching it up, and Tokoro forced to tap. Man, what a great spot. You know, really good for Hansen. You know, three fight losing streak. He finally got a win and got a decisive win. It wasn't like a, I just got to beat a guy up. I got a perfect win.